Kate Candle here. I'm the co-founder of Flow Athletic, and I'm going to take you through the perfect starter for the day, a yoga flow that will get you wide awake, feeling awesome, a little bit of cool work to get some fire in your belly so you can go out there and do everything that you want to do today. So we're going to start from a standing posture. Come to the top of your mat, or if you don't have a mat, just get some fresh carpet or some floorboard. Take your feet to about hips distance apart. Give the knees a little softening, lift the shoulders up and back and have your palms facing forwards. And just take a little moment to notice how you're holding yourself this morning, today. And do whatever with your eyes feels more grounding, so be it really gently open them to a place out in front or have them closed. Yeah, just check in. How are you holding yourself? How are you feeling? Is there a sense of contraction, a nice kind of looseness from slumber? There's no right or wrong, good or bad, just a noticing, an observation. At the same time, start to deepen the breath so that as you inhale, you feel a light lift through into the crown. And so that as you exhale, there's this kind of sinking and dropping down into the earth. Now add some arms. Inhale, take your arms right on out and up so your palms connect above the head. And exhale, hands right down through center to heart. Keeping your palms together, inhale, reach up. A little lift of the gaze, see if that feels okay on the neck. A little bend back. And exhale, take your arms out wide as you fold forwards. You can have your knees as bent as you need to to take care of the lower back. Inhale to a flat back, lift your chest, broadening your collarbones. And exhale, step your left foot back behind you, lowering your left knee gently to the ground. Take your arms out and up, reach up so that your palms face each other or connect and just sink your hips down towards the ground for a moment, opening up into those hip flexors. Inhale, keep those front ribs in, lift the chest up a little bit. Mm, exhale, hands to ground. Take your right knee back to the left for Anahatasana. Keep the hips over the knees and stretch your arms out in front. And you're like a big cat stretching in the jungle first thing. Long exhalation. And slide the hands in towards you. Come stand up onto your knees. Taking the arms out and up, press the hips forward. Reach up. And exhale, take your hands out in front of you, slither down to the ground, chest first, and then the belly, point your toes, little baby cobra chest forwards and up, so hands are lifted, and then keep the chest lifted, just lower the hands back down to the ground, I like to sway a little side to side. Next inhalation, use your hands for cobra pose, elbows stay bent, just so that we can warm the arms. And then curl your toes under, lift your knees, slowly use your core to move back into downward facing dog. So just nice kind of slow, fully felt movements. When we slow down the movements, we slow down the breath. Because really, in this practice, we're moving to the rhythm of the breath. And in doing those two things, we slow down the brain waves, we become more present setting ourselves up for a really nice, clear, productive, fully lived day. One more breath in. Stay for the exhalation. And look forward, step to the top of the mat, one foot then the other, flat back as you inhale, lift your chest, and fold forwards as you exhale. Inhale, arms are out wide, reach up, stand tall, and exhale, hands to heart through center. Palms stay together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards, arms out to the side. Empty your lungs. Inhale to a flat back, lift your chest. Exhale, this time right foot steps back, lower the right knee and take your arms out and up. Palms either face each other or together. And then ease your hips down. A breath in to lift the chest, explore a little baby back bend. Exhale, hands to ground, left knee back to right. Stretch your arms all the way out in front of you, full breath in, really reaching into the fingertips. And stay for the full exhalation, so really start to breathe each breath fully. Just 
slide the hands in towards you. Come stand up onto your knees, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands out in front, slither down. Little baby cobra, inhale. Really good for posture, for back muscles. Lower the hands, exhale, cobra poses. You inhale using the hands to wave the chest forwards and up. Curl your toes under, lift your knees, engage the core. Downward facing dog. And five fully breathed breaths. Pressing the palms firmly down and forwards. If you can see your inner heels, the suggestion is just to spin them out of your view a little bit. And you can put any amount of bend in the knees to lengthen your spine. One more breath in, lift up high onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to the top. Flat back, inhale, lift your chest. Fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, arms wide, reach up. Exhale, hands right down through center to heart. Palms stay together. Inhale, reach up, little lean back. Exhale, swan dive forwards, chest leads, hands to the ground. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step both feet back into a high plank so that your shoulders are over the wrists, thighs are engaged, core engaged. Inhale, rock yourself forwards. Exhale, lower down halfway. So your elbows and wrists are stacked and point your toes, sweep the chest forwards and up. Upward facing, and exhale back into downward facing. Three breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Every breath, breathe fully. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, bend knees, look forward, step or hop. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold forwards. This time, bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sweep the fingertips forwards and up. And then sit right down low into that comfy chair. <laughs> so send the weight back into the heels so your toes get light. Let's allow for a few sensations to build here in the legs. Creating some stability, some warmth, some fire. And through it all, we breathe. On an exhalation, twist to your right, left elbow over the right knee, thumbs in towards the chest. Every inhalation lengthens your spine and every exhalation twists you gently. Inhale, take your hands forwards and up. Exhale, twist to the left. Same deal, lengthening through the spine, the neck on inhalation and twisting gently on exhalation. The end of your exhalations, draw your navel into the spine and up. Inhale, take your hands forwards and up. Squeeze your legs, straight little back arch. And exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, flat back. Good step or jump back. Chaturanga. And cobra or upward facing. And exhale, back into downward facing. Dog right leg rises as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze right knee to chin, chin to knee. So come up high onto the left tiptoes. Right leg up and back, inhale. Exhale, squeeze right knee, right tricep. Little hover, hold. <laughs> inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Cross the body, twist. And then take your right knee out to the right, and drip it back behind you for a little wild thing. So you come up onto the ball of your right foot. Offering the heart and the hips skyward. Feeling a little turn inside out and upside down. And then in slow motion, turn it back around. Squeeze your right knee to right tricep again. Hover, hold, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Inhaling to up dog. And exhaling back. Lion's breath in between. So we take a generous breath in through the nose and then stick out tongue as we exhale. <sighs> Left leg rises as you inhale. 
Exhale, squeeze left knee to chin, chin, chin to knee. So you draw it right in like you want to kiss it. Left leg up and back, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Like you want to take the knee up in towards your underarm. Left leg up and back. And then across the body, twisting to the right tricep. And then left knee out to the left to drip it, then back behind the right foot for wild thing. <sighs> Breathing. <laughs> And then in slow motion, like it's no big deal, <laughs> squeeze your left knee to left tricep again. One more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Let's have another lion's breath because it's so good for releasing tension in the throat, the tongue, the jaw. Full breath in. And then come down onto your knees, curling the toes under. Take your arms out and up, reach up. You can keep the arms lifted, the gaze forwards, or lift your gaze to the thumbs. Dial the tailbone down, press your hips forwards, and then drink in this little back bend. And then stay there. Well, for this next pass, if you want to come into Ustrasana, gaze forwards, take your hands back behind you to heels. Keep easing the tailbone down, the hips forwards. And then if it feels okay on the neck, gently drop the head back. Out, engage your core, sit back onto your heels, and have a little moment just and to feel those sensations dissolve. To notice whatever else you notice. And to take the knees wide, slide your hands out in front for a child's pose. And to consciously let the breath slow right down. And just to use the breath for a few moments as if it's medicine. That you can send into your lower back, your legs, wherever. That breath is required. And if you've had enough of that medicine there, come on up out of it. Yeah, so you're ready for your day. Hope you feel awesome. And yeah, take that little sequence whenever you need a little pick-me-up or to wake up.